CNC and uh, 3D printing. So CNC and 3D printing completely opposite uh, technology. That is subtraction, this is addition. CNC, you need solid material. How big material according to your project. And this one need just a string. But also 3D is not only about the string of plastic. It can be paste also. Like for candy we are using paste. For cake we are using paste. So for uh, concrete we are using paste. And this one. Basically this is the part for the chocolate print. Here there is a kind of injection is here where is my finger and it's moving little by little down to extrude the paste. Okay. This will can be used in same printer and where is the fan here? This will be here. In same printer you just change this part and little bit modifications. You can use this one as a candy printer. So candy printer is re reality, it's not the just imagination and I am saying one day you all will make candy at home in your kitchen. Yeah. Anyhow, so the best thing in that part you can create customized shapes. Children love, love those things, you know, for candy their attraction. With his name or a picture. Yeah, on. yeah, anything, anything. Yeah. Plus, in later, in later stage, you are seeing a lot of more materials, food materials that can be used in the 3D printer. Because right now it's in an experimental basis. Also biscuit already there, biscuit you can make it. Uh, bread you can make it with 3D printer. Uh, cake, pastries, there are a lot of more. And a lot more will come in the future. So what you need to do, you just need to buy raw material it will come like if you remember uh, for the cake there is cream is coming in the packet it will be like that you will buy the packet keep it at home whenever you need you use it so this will be another revolutionary idea for the 3d printing and uh, everyone is exciting for that time especially in canada people are a lot excited about this because it's still in experimental base everywhere not available okay so cnc and 3d printing do you have any question about that you understand the difference so g code is very old when cnc start from that time but difference is that same g code half of the g code same for the both machine because this is technology wise this printer is even reverse technology of CNC but it is also kind of CNC machine because it have same axis so, uh, x y z axis is its directions now all the printer have some specifications so many specification you need to know from the manufacturer and mostly they are always giving you they, they are mostly manufacturers they are providing you a specification because you need to know those things when you want to use that specification not to buy and compare it's because you need those <coughs> configuration setup when you are using it so those specification you must need to know if you don't know you will find the way how to know that Nowadays everything on the internet, so it's not a difficult part. If you don't have, you can find. So, uh, specification, one thing. Then, another thing, the configuration. Okay. So, remember that when you are using 3D printer, you need to set up your program in computer first. Setup is main key to use 3D printer. So many times there are a lot of problems that are coming in 3D printer. Everyone is thinking, oh, printer is bad. Nothing wrong with the printer. It's your setup that you did not set up properly. That's called configuration. So, configuration 
have a couple of parts and that is start from the uh, printer wear. Okay. Printer wear have two parts. One is printer wear itself. In that you can make object smaller, larger like this one. Same thing, exact ditto, you can make bigger one. Same like photocopy, you can enlarge the item, you can reduce the item. But it will be 3D item. It seems like that zoom system is working, but that is working from your printer wear. See here, printer cannot do in that anything until unless you will process in the printer wear. You can make, sometimes we, 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 in design we are making mistakes. Sometimes we can make this one little bigger. Okay, see my finger, little bigger. Now, I am stuck because I need card size, I don't need too big, so it, it should not shape too much up to here. I can reduce it any size, like X size, Y size, or Z size. I can also do it all three sides. Or also I can just reduce in one side, just shrink from one side. Or height wise. Or all together from all sides it will be zoom in, zoom out. That is possible from printer wear. That's why you need printer wear. And that printer wear is always coming with the printer and that's everyone is different. Every printer, printer wear is different. That's possible. Some printer wear you can use with some other printers but not necessary. So now printer wear have two major thing one is printer wear itself and second called slicer you must need to slice the program to run your printer and that is the most important part in 3d printing if you are not using slicer properly you will feel your printer is not working but maybe that is problem from slicer Slicer have lot of setups, settings, configurations that can be controlled by you. This is here you will work. Some of the uh, printers have their own automatic slicers, so you don't need to do too much. In most of the slicer you need to do only one time setup, but it is not necessary. In with every object, like this object is different, and this object is different. Maybe you need to change slicer setup. These things we are teaching. You learn, need to learn those when you need to use 3D printer. That's why I told you it's called the printer. See, I'll show you. 3D printer. See, I, it's not uh, big, but I can show you. 3D printer. Do not just work out of the box. You need to learn how to work on 3D printer when you will bring out of the box. So 3D printer is not television, you just plug in and use it. You need to learn how to start. First time lot of things to do. Some people doesn't know the things, sometimes they can take up to three days to start the printer. Some people doing in 20 minutes. It's all depend. If somebody already learned, then it's easy for him. If somebody never knew anything, for him it can be a lot big job. But basically it's not big difficult thing if you know. Okay? So, it's basically it's a start from hobby, but now it's a professional everywhere. And still it is educational toy. And it is not toy. It is an educational toy, but it is not a toy. Now there is a small 3D printer came in the market. Still, it is not available for sale. And soon it will be on sale. So that printer is for students, so they can, because that's very cheap, so they will learn and they can take home. They can create a small object, <coughs> like figuring or something else. You know. Paper. Hmm? Paper objects, No, plastic objects. This I, as I told you, this is the most common <coughs> printer kind thing. Most common 
is this plastic. This plastic is called PLA. I will tell you it's written here. We can talk about little bit about that. That's called, you know, the uh, material called filament. As I told you, this is the one. Okay, I think le lesson two. Yeah, please lesson two. Filament type for 3D printer. It's it's in the beginning lesson two. Just three page. Yeah. Third page. So, type of filaments. It's explaining. Here are some list of the filament type, but it's not all the list. It's just a few I can see. Every day new new are coming and we are adding in that one. But these are most common used in the world. Okay. If you will see, first one is ABS. Lesson 2. First one is ABS. Okay. So, ABS is the same plastic that is used for the Lego. Lego plastic is ABS. This plastic is giving a small smell that's why we are not using, we are not recommending for the bigness. For the bigness is the PLA. Okay, This is the PLA what we are using. Why? It is not giving a smell. It is not the, Yeah, it is organic because it is from vegetation. So, ABS petroleum byproduct it smells when yeah. you heat it. Yeah. So ABS is giving a uh, fumes. Okay. Some people because everyone is different. Some people feel nothing about that fume. Some people feel have strong feelings about that fume. So some of them cannot work in that kind of environment, and some of them, you know, if if they cannot work, they need a special exhaust system for that. So, ABS is the same plastic as uh, Lego and uh, it is very easy to make it smooth and shiny. If you will see Lego, it's very nice, smooth, shiny. So, but when you print, it won't come out of the printer bed smooth and shiny. You need to process it with the chemical that's called acetone. Same acetone you are using for the paint. Paint, uh, glue, yeah. in our glue yeah. Yeah. So acetone we are using for ABS to make it more shiny and smooth surface. It develops the heat on the body. Basically we are using vapors. We are not dipping in that. Okay. If you will dip, you will spoil the model. You can depend on your pro uh, project. It You will dip like 15 minutes. Oh, sorry, you will... Uh, Vaporize like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or 5 minutes depend on your project. It's also experimental based. So you need to experiment first to make sure what you are doing. So acetone vapor is creating smoothness in ABS. But same acetone is not effective on PLA. Even PLA you dip it, nothing will happen much. Only maybe it will discolor the PLA. So color will be changed, but it will not melt the plastic, but ABS it will dissolve and if you know that uh, most of the plastic glues made by acetone and ABS plastic, they dissolve it and create the uh, glue. You can make that glue at home and for your kind information my father was used to make it back 40 years before. So that's why I knew. Sure, sure, please. I can take a five minute break, please. Please.